I'm using Style Marshall's guide to try to get 4.24 Unreal Engine hair working, and as you can see, it's uh, it's very see-through uh, and looks pretty strange. So I'm wondering if someone out there would be able to tell me <laughs> what I'm doing wrong. So the process that I'm using is to start a new project using the game template and just pretty much default settings, no ray tracing. Then I add the mannequin character somewhere, it doesn't really matter where for the moment. And then I'm going to reset the X and Y and face it 90 degrees. And then I'm just gonna make a new folder for the Alembic hair. Then I'm just gonna set all those settings that I need to set going to turn on the Alembic Groom importer and the Groom. And then in project settings, I'm going to turn on supporting the compute skin cache. And then turn off tick animation on scleral mesh in it. And then I'm going to import the example Groom, which came from Cinema 4D, that Star Marshall has supplied of 50,000 strands. And just Adjust these import settings. Then I'm going to drag in the hair and roughly position it. Then I'm going to make the hair the child of the mannequin and choose the head. Not sure why I've got to restart at this point, but I'm going to. And then the Unreal documentation says to bind Groom to Skeletal Mesh, but I'm gonna skip that because that's not in the instructions from Style Marshall. So I'm going to add the Niagara Particle System. And then under Niagara System Asset, I'm gonna choose Groom Asset System. And then under Niagara, and then under rendering, I'm gonna turn off visible. You still got very thin looking hair. And then if I do what they say to do, uh, click this uh, bind groom to skeletal mesh. It goes even more uh, see-through. So I'm going to turn that off. And that's the result that I end up with.